All right, this week in lab, we talked about the serratus interior. So we're gonna look at a quick test, but let's talk a little bit about the serratus interior. It's what we call the punching muscle. The difference between throwing a punch out here and just allowing my arm to be out, you know, disconnected from my body versus throwing a punch in such a way that I can use my whole, whole torso, all right, is my serratus interior. Meaning your arm bone connects to your shoulder blade. Your shoulder blade sits on your rib cage. That's your scapular thoracic joint or your shoulder girdle. So my arm essentially is only as strong as my shoulder blade's ability to connect to my axial skeleton, my torso, my rib cage, all right, my spine. So whether I'm throwing a baseball, swinging a club, shooting a basketball, whatever I'm doing, I need that connection from my arm to my shoulder blade to my rib cage, all right, and then my spine. So when we have a disconnect of your shoulder blade away from your arm, so think about doing, let's say, a military press overhead or a bench press or a push-up, if you feel like a shoulder blade's a little wonky or not setting in place, it may be a serratus interior issue, all right? So your serratus, um, it's that muscle you kind of see, it looks like a couple fingers that might be sitting here in your rib cage. You have your intercostal muscles along your ribs or in between your ribs, and then you have your obliques down here, but this is a muscle that kind of runs in your kind of upper rib cage, and it, it originates on your ribs. It wraps around to the back and goes in front of your shoulder blade, so it tucks in, in front of your shoulder blade and inserts into the medial, the inside portion of your shoulder blade. So when you contract your serratus, it's gonna pull this way that the shoulder blades sort of uh, wrap around the rib cage and stabilize, all right? So if I'm doing push-ups and I'm really pressing out, I want my shoulder blades to protract a little bit as I then really push through, all right? So that's why, if you whether you um, throw a punch, throw a football as a quarterback, you want that connection, all right? Now, what's one way to test this? If you go to the doctor and say, you know, if, if you're having maybe neck issues, shoulder issues, medial elbow issues, it might be some sort of stability problem with your shoulder blade, which may signal some sort of serratus interior problem. One of the tests they'll have you do is this. They'll have you do sort of a push up on the wall, bend your elbows a little bit and push. And so if your shoulder blade sticks out, a little bit like my left shoulder blade is now, that's sort of what happens if I'm not extra conscious of that. That's signal of sort of a winging scapula, all right? So if you push and go down and back up, how well can you pack your shoulder blades like that versus that happening, all right? The reason I can do that is because I do have a problem with that left shoulder blade. Is it technically a winging scapula? That's kind of a medical diagnosis that usually signals a problem with my long, or your, or someone's, long thoracic nerve. That's the nerve that comes off the brachial plexus in your cervical spine that runs down kind of the superficial part of your back, and it's easily damaged and bothered. And so whether there's a little bit of something going on there, I've always felt a knot. So if I do a push-up, if I do um, uh, cable presses especially, or dumbbell presses, a lot of times I'll wake up and my, my neck will be bothering me, my elbow will be bothering me because I have a hard time stabilizing that shoulder blade. All right? So that's what's going on there. You can talk to your doc about that. Google some uh, serratus interior exercises. I have another video for serratus interior exercises. But that's one of the tests. It's a wall push-up test to see can the shoulder blade stay packed, or does one kind of wing and stick out like that if you have a hard time protracting that shoulder blade like so. And that's a good exercise in and of itself, just pushing and then protracting like so. All right? So a um, couple notes about the serratus interior. Uber important exercise to connect everything. Your pec minor is another protractor that's going to help, but that pec minor is also a downward rotator, so it's going to help neutralize some of the motions of the shoulder girdle. It's not always going to act as the same kind of um, stabilizer as the serratus anterior. But make note of that assessment. I'll see you next week.